what a fun topic. What is a theory? Let me give you some examples of some really fun theories. Here's one that I published on one of my theories that shows that the Big Bang was really a standard model physics issue. That's it. Just a standard model. That's all you need to describe all of the observational evidence in cosmology for the Big Bang. Here's another one that I published showing that the neutrino is really a standard model particle and it is massless. It's just that the oscillations are due to entanglement, flavor entanglements, and that's all that you need to explain the oscillations of the neutrino. So it's again just a standard model particle. Here's another one that I published that shows that gamma ray bursts are partly due to nuclear criticality events in space, just like from a fission reactor, and that that's giving rise to some of the gamma ray bursts that we see. There's another one where I published where I showed that geological dating based on isotopic ratios of radioactive elements are grossly underestimating the uncertainties. That the uncertainties could very well be orders of magnitude larger than what's currently predicted. And all of these theories explain observ observational data and all of them are just theories and even worse, all of them are technically contrarian. None of them agree with mainstream thought. And that's all fine and good. That just means that that's what a theory is. Now, there are theories that are very well established, like the, the law of gravity. I shouldn't say the law of gravity. The theory of gravity is very well established, but we still don't know what happens at the quantum level. There are laws in physics, but those are based on things like mathematical theorems, like conservation laws are due to Noether's theorem, or statistics, like the central limit theorem means that, you know, the average of random samples from any population distribution will be normally distributed. It'll be Gaussian. And so there are theorems, which are laws that we can say, you know, like the laws of thermodynamics, but all of the theories are still theories because there's stuff that we haven't figured out. It doesn't explain everything. Uh, and so that really largely is kind of exciting because it means that there's so much still to discover. What, like with evolution, why is it that you get only right-handed molecules that contribute to life, that all the amino acids that, that are they're racemic, that have uh, 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 right and left-handed versions, only the right-handed version of that can be used in life. And with all of these theories, no matter how well established they are, the fact that we still haven't figured out those elements to explain observational fact, it really means that you could almost literally say the correct answer, technically right now, is unimaginable. So that's really exciting. That means for all these theories, the, the ones that I showed, I'll put them in the, in the link uh, in the comments, and all the other established ones, established ones, it means that the truth is still right now unimaginable. And that's exciting. So thanks for watching.